Hey guys, I'm gonna just try to do a quick update tonight and, um, you know, get better at being a worm farmer and um, a videoer. So I'm gonna take you along and um, it's been about a week since I fed, so we'll see what they're doing. Okay, I'll try to bust through these bins as fast as I can. This is Zombie Land. Hi, Jay. Um, this one's been cool to watch. This is my, these are my European night crawlers. And I did have, of course, I had a lot of escape with the Coco Coir fiasco of 2018, but I'm surprised at how many babies I'm seeing in this bin while the other bins are, I don't know, kind of slowing down with the cold. It's been cold here. These guys are in my basement, but you can see the little guys. They're obviously having little pups there. Um, so yeah, I'm happy. That's cool. I think I fed on this side last time. So I'm just quickly going to, I just wanna check the consistency. I just kind of root around a little bit. There's a cocoon. Anyway, I'm going to put these guys back, make sure all of the food's covered. And I'm gonna feed the other side and I'll probably cut. Or it will be really awkwardly quiet. Sorry, I just quickly wanted to show you still in the in the European nightcrawler bin. Just tons of babies. And Again, I'm not sure why these guys seem to be reproducing so well, or if they're just coming back from um, the cataclysm of the Coco Coir, but whatever, I'm super happy, very cool. Um, and I'm gonna feed them. Okay, these are the African night colors in my mini. Wormy bag. This one always stays a bit dry. I always end up adding some to the top. Again, I'm in a dry climate. Hey, how's the window looking? Nothing to see. Sorry. Um, anyway, I am in a pretty dry climate. So this was exposed to the window for ratings. And as you can see, only mites were chilling on it. But these guys... Looks like they got into whatever was behind the watermelon. Um, some sort of cucumber peel, lettuce type deal. Um, there are some mites, not uncontrollable. And again, it seems to be like where air hits food. So where there's, I don't know, I'm just going to stop predicting and um, I'll just keep feeding. They're not bugging me. If they get really bad, um, there are some measures that I can take. So far they haven't been that bad. I'm kind of scared to see the blue worm bin because that's been the worst perpetrator, but we'll see. Again, these guys have a lot of food to get through. I'm gonna just put some moisture, some water on top, and we'll get to the next bin. Okay guys, these are my red wigglers in the oven worm bag. Um, these guys have been, the system is amazing. I Like, it's been awesome as far as moisture. Um, the worms seem to be multiplying quickly. They seem to be able to handle a lot of food and I just don't really have any complaints. I don't have, like if I left for a week, this is the system that I just don't worry about. Um, it really self-regulates. I'm just looking through this. I don't know if you can tell, but like hardly any mites. Actually, I haven't seen one yet, but I don't have my glasses on. I can see some springtails. I can see a potworm. But, oh, there's some mites. 
hey, there's a cocoon. No glasses. But it's just the stark difference to me. The bug population. And I don't know why. And I, again, I'm not... I'm not going to try to figure that out tonight. But I think it's pretty cool. It's a cool system. I would not be sad if... Tomorrow I woke up and all my worms were in these, in an urban worm bag. I even like the first version, but I've been hesitant to give any reviews on it because, disclaimer, I have not harvested from it yet. Um, I'm not worried about it. I've looked in there and the castings seem great, but I haven't harvested. So don't run out and get one because I said so. I, I will promise I will give you a good review. Sorry, a full, honest review. I just want to make sure I can, that I get a good harvest and that I don't have any problems. And again, I have the first system. He's improved it since. Um, so that will be awesome because Santa's a worm farmer and I'm sure he's going to understand and bring me one. Look at that little guy's cool blue head. Anyway, I can't find any food, which is seriously, I, I found some corn cobs. I shouldn't say I couldn't find any food, but I really thought there would be more food in here. I'm just not finding a lot. Finding a lot of cute little faces staring at me. So I'm going to give them some food and I'll be back with the blues. Okay, last bin. These are blues. The top, again, it's really dry. Um, and just to, in contrast to the Urban Worm bag, um, the top, I do have like a, the top I have on it is kind of a plastic top, but it doesn't have a seal. Like it doesn't meet the soil evenly, so it's not like even close to airtight. Anyway, the top just gets dried out. So, last week I didn't feed these guys that had too much food in here and a lot of mites. Again, these are my blue, India blue worms. I believe mostly blue. Could be some reds in here. But, lots of mites and still a lot of food left. Um, but they better get hungry because I have a lot of food. I have a theory. Do you want to hear it? So when I very first got worms, of course, I, I ordered from someone who's famous for not shipping reds, but shipping blue worms. And I put, oh my god, I need a shower. Is that, is that just mites? Mite bodies? Holy mites. I totally lost my train of thought. Okay. That don't go in there, dude. Trust me. Um, I think I might just throw this guy in the garbage as long as there aren't any worms in there. If there are, I think they're goners anyway. <laughs> 